What's up divas and people? So it's your girl. So today's video is one of those really cool wigs by Main Concept. You can definitely pick this one up at ElevateStyles.com. So before I get into all of that detail or whatever, um, I just lost my train of thought. Really sucks. Okay. All right. Let's see. There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world and devos it's your girl so today's video of course you guys already know is a cheap inexpensive synthetic affordable wig from and, and available at elevatestyles.com this one is by main concept this is their brown sugar collection and ladies this one is the super long 28 inches and this one is called pasadena okay so what's really cool about this lace front wig is it has an elastic band in it majority of the parting is going to be right here in the middle but do you guys see it does have the combs in the front and then it also has the elastic band in the back i think they could have did a little bit better I do like the concept of the elastic band, but in the back they put the wig clips by the nape of our necks. I mean, I would really prefer the combs, but also I really feel like they should also have an adjustable strap in the nape along with the elastic band. So we're going to see how this works out. I know for a fact that the combs would have been a lot more beneficial than the wig clips because the wig clips are just a little bit, to me, they, they just pull tension on the nape of your neck. So I really would prefer the combs to be here. There are three wig clips in the back and then there are two combs in the front. It's a middle part, but for me, I do like, like it all depends on what wig it is for me to wear it as the middle part. The color is really pretty and the hairstyle is really nice also. I do notice that's a little bit more wavier in the front and then kind of like in the back, it gets a little bit looser. It does come with two strips of tape in the back in case you guys want to tape it down. This is definitely heat friendly. It also does have baby hairs in the nape area in case you want to pull this up in a bun and it's 28 inches and i did tweeze just a little bit not too much because i don't want the part to be super wide and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take my foundation stick which is the lancome and i'm going to use that onto the part okay okay so look at pasadena she is so full like this is like major hair okay major hair 
The color is so pretty, but here's the key. You have to fluff her out. Like you either have to take a nice ventilated brush or a very good wide tooth comb and just start at the bottom and work your way up to the top. So that way she gets to her potential fullness. Like I'm not knocking the model, but I mean like the picture to me, the actual picture of the model, it's not really appealing. It's not really flattering, especially I don't really like the color either, but if you were to actually fluff it out then and just comb it out, I think that it would be like a million times better. For the most part, like as for the wig clips in the back, like, okay, so they're not really bothering me like that. Like I didn't even put this one in over here on the side. So they don't really bother me like that. I guess, you know, it has its, its, its ups and it has its downs it has its cons and it has its pros um but some people really don't like the wig clips and as for the elastic band um it is it does fit nice and snug and there is room for it to stretch um as for it not having an adjustable strap i really would like it still to be there because for me, I would just feel like the ends are flapping, but they're really not. But I would just really like for it to be there. The hair texture is great. Of course, it's going to um, tangle because it's a synthetic wig. But I think, you know what? It's very lengthy. It's 28 inches. Main concept, they do their thing. Their brown sugar collection is always on point. I like the whole fact that they just come out with new styles. What lace wig, especially if it's synthetic, is going to have like an adjustable, I mean, excuse me, an elastic band in it. Like, it seems like they really, really do pay attention to women that are wearing these units, which is great. So that's where they get a lot of their ideas from. I do like this one a lot. It's very pretty. I love the color. I like colors like this. Plus, it's so full. If you love big, full hair, then definitely. Now, as for the stuff that I used in my hair in the beginning of the video or the tutorial, which was Boldify, it's just a hair filler fiber. I use this quite frequently especially because I have thinner edges so it kind of like fills in the missing gaps and spaces in my hair and makes it blend more with the wigs this is great if you have thinning hair thinning edges or also balding spots it just looks like tiny little speckles of hair it's not wet it's a dry formula um, I'm pretty sure that Elevate Styles probably does carry something on their website that's very similar to that I love it it helps blend in all my wigs as you guys can tell so I swear by any type of hair filler fiber they're all basically the same just with different labels on them but I love Boldify because it's double the price excuse me double the product and half the price of topic so that's why i've just used boldify now you can definitely check out elevatestyles.com i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of pasadena and color sr1b30 by main concept i love you guys stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up because you guys know that you love me just as much as i love you and I will see you guys on another time.